Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Finem. So harsh and forgiving there is a guy trying to ruin my intro over there. Let's, well, let's just go and finish him off. We, we, we don't really take too kindly to his kind around here. Today we are going to partake in a whole load of quest making. Well I say a whole load of quest making that is what we were supposed to do last time but of course the glorious world of tangential needings really came along and did one for us uh, because we needed to get some leather together. We ended up getting cows and, and, and all sorts of various steps where I thought we were just going to be doing the one. So today's beautiful quest of tangential offerings starts... With this soul binding, we're going to try and make a soul vial here. Now, this should be nice and simple. If we go into my NEI, with, it's just a bit of solarium, which we have some of. And we've got some fused quartz. Now, I really do hope it's going to be as simple as this. Now, fused quartz we are running out of. Taking these three only leaves me with two. I've got a few bits of quartz that I can just cook down. Literally, this cooks in a furnace one for one. Uh, there's probably a more efficient way of doing that, but I'm not sure what it is. But with one little rambly talk over, we have got our soul Soul vial, brilliant. Uh, there is stuff that we can do. You know, we can capture mob essences and, and stuff like that. I believe you just capture it and then you can put it down again, much like the safari net. Is that the one we had? I thought I'd got some safari nets, but obviously not. Anyway, quest. Yes, we did that one. The next one is to make this soul binder. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult, no doubt. And I'm sure there's a few things that I will not have specifically to hand to make it happen. But we will see what happens. Now, soul is in there again. We're going to be making this soul binder. Now, I happen to have one of all of these. In fact, give me a second to go around and do some collecting. The decor on the Hall of Heads here has taken a little bit of a beating, but, you know, it's pretty nice. It's all about beating your head after all. Uh, let's have a look in here. What else was it? It's not in there, is it? We wanted to have a look in here and see what else we needed. Four bits of solarium and a machine chassis. I think it's because it comes after the sh machine noise that I really just cannot handle it. Uh, one, two, three... Was it four? We're going to take four just to be on the safe side. But hopefully we should be able to do this, do this, and then go, Oh my gosh, have you ever seen me complete a quest as quick as this? I don't think I have. So we've got the Solarian block, Soul Vial, that comes with a soul that we can't quite figure out what it is. Oh, the, so I think I'm going to go with the Soulful Soul Vial. Oh, two of them, in fact. What are they full of? Enderman. Enderman. If there's one thing we've actually got a lot of, it's uh, Enderman and Soul Vials. Wait, there was another one over here somewhere. Yes, this guy here. So we've actually got an awful lot of Enderman inside these soul vials. I believe we can just pop one down on the floor to let him loose. I am not going to do that because the thing we want to do is pop him in here somehow. Look, there's the, the spot for the soul vial. There is a bit for power and things like that. But we're not going to be able to do that here. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to need to be able to set this up somewhere. And I have been receiving a whole lot of stuff for Ender IO, where I think we're actually going to need to push this door back, door, this wall back, set up another section like this, almost specifically for Ender IO. And the best way of doing that, of course, is in a time lapse.
And just like that, we're done. Well, nearly. I mean, we all know I'm bad at roofs, right? We're going to ignore that. My, my main thing is that we're going to just move the obsidian all the way out. But digging up there, it's... um. It's a little bit worrisome because I don't know where all the silverfish were. You saw me fighting a few of them uh, during the time lapse. Yeah, you hear them? You hear them? There's there's one there that I think is trapped in um, obsidian or something like that or is surrounded by other monster eggs because he can't get back inside his thing or he's just some sort of weird species of spider. Now, you guys would have seen me putting this in at the end of the time lapse or at least I, I hope you did there's no power flowing through why is there no power is that something that stops at the the next thing that needs stuff next thing that needs stuff yeah english i do good at uh, i'm gonna pop this here and that there and see if this is a thing oh it still doesn't let the 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 power flow but probably because we uh, don't actually have enough power in the system at the moment look at my capacitor banks shocking shocking all right so after all of that we should be getting on with this next quest this remote energy uh, remote everything in fact it's a dimensional transceiver as far as i'm aware it functions like a tesseract i don't know if you guys know about them but you can kind of put stuff in one box and it'll come out the other be that items fluids energy gases you you name it it can go in and it'll pop out the other side of another box somewhere so let's go on with that wheel shall we what do we need for it now i believe we need stuff for, from the site slice and spice this uh end stone resonator enderman resonator we've got to first of course pop this stuff back and go find us an ender head now i am starting to run out a little bit of the ender heads but this is all good because of course we have that little trick where we can summon them using the the ender crow out there the the, the scare ender where whatever whatever that thing is we built out the back there with the uh, the ender head and the wool uh, we also need some vibranium and some silicon I keep calling it vibranium that's not what we're after it's a uh, vibrant alloy I don't know what well I know I know why I keep watching uh, Captain America and stuff like that so that that's where that comes from turns out I have an ender resonator right here though so we might not need that but the octactic capacitor that is definitely a thing we need to work on which means we need a couple of those and a couple of those and i believe let's just double check in here a block of glowstone and a whole load of ender pearls i need to go and cook those because that's just going to take forever and i'll be back in a second all right you guys know i love a tangent and brace yourselves this one's about to go deep so we wanted to make the uh, energetic alloy so that we could make the dimensional transceiver now we've got the six not energetic alloys uh vibrant alloys uh we've got the six energetic alloys which we would then mix with the ender pearls now i do have six ender pearls but that will leave me completely out of ender pearls now you can see up here i've got a powered spawner lined up this is obviously what my solution to this is going to be we're going to make an enderman spawner the problem with that is that we need to be able to combine it with a broken spawner of an enderman type to make it into an enderman spawner now i have a ghast and a blaze spawner and i don't know about you guys but i don't fancy turning either of those into an enderman spawner because well I like gas. I like blaze. They both give some useful equipment. Uh, we would combine them with one of these soul vials, by the way, to, to turn them into such. So that's not something I want to do. But there is something rather close that has a spawner inside it that I think maybe we can take advantage of. So just over the ridge there, it's going to be a little bit of a jump. Just over this ridge here, there's... A village or a village of some description now in there there are there is a pigment spawner now i do not think i'm ever going to need a pigment spawner and if i do there's another village over that way so i'm going to just run in there and see if i can't break <laughs> an omen of things to come ladies and gentlemen <laughs> all right let's try and break my way out of it Okay, now we're just going to try and run in there, grab the block and run away. Now, I don't know exactly where they're at. There is exactly where they're at. So if we can just break it like that. Boom! Okay, brilliant. That should now mean we're not going to have any troubles. I'm just going to have a quick look around and see if there's any spawners anywhere else. No, no. Uh, ooh, empty drawers. Uh, we've got some chests here. I don't really want to be mucking around with stuff until I... I'm certain. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. Give me my gun, please. Okay. 
So far, so good. There's a few guys in there. I saw where it was. It's underneath that block there, I think. So let's try and come in from the other side. We're going to be aware that the pigmen are here and that they need killing. But I reckon if we just take out the lower blocks, if I can come around here, I reckon just through here is where we want to go. Yeah, there it is. That's, that's the problem. Block right there. Brilliant. That was what I wanted. Okay, now with my fu rapid fire, we're going to take him out. Oh, he had a fishing rod on him. He tried to pull me close. Okay, and I think now that's everything we need to do down here. We're not going to go quite yet. Broken? Didn't I get two broken spawners? Was that not a thing that I did? Have I not got down and picked it up from in here? Huh? Well, anyway, either way, I, I, I'm not overly fussed because we've got one of them. Let's, uh, let's check some, some stuff here. Let's see what we want. We've got some book and quills. We've got some food, various iron leggings, anything in there. No. Um, there, there is some nice stuff, but nothing that I'm going to be over... Oh, well, <laughs> things that I am overjoyed about, but nothing that I'm going to be uh, ecstatic about, like nothing we couldn't live without. Okay, so with the uh, zombie pigman spawner, I believe we just throw it in here with the soul vial, and we now need to put some XP in there. 15 levels? Ah, there we go. Well, I suppose that's a thing. It needs to be done. Wow, that took me down from, well, from 20, 23. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately. This is still powering away, and that's on, on the go there. The next thing we need to do, oh, look at that working nicely it's to do with the powered spawner we need to make one of these franken zombies now that might is made from one of these uh z logic controllers which i just happen to have most of the stuff on me for this so we're gonna click that in the middle there two of those two of these and one of those i do believe is what's needed yep it disappears and starts the progress that is amazing but the next thing is a little bit more awkward we now need to try and capture some zombie soul essence and for that we need a soul vial so let's come back here and go soul wow things are a bit loud around here all of a sudden now we need some of this uh, fused quartz we need three bits of fused quartz in fact unfortunately i believe we've only got two here and unfortunately it actually takes four bits of quartz to make one i thought it was a one for one but it's not it's uh it's four bits and i only have two and i don't really know where to get more quartz i will be completely honest with you i created this uh, created a test world and uh, dug down underneath the the surface of the world in creative and just had a look around i couldn't find any quartz down there so it all has to come from you can see it takes four bits of quartz from fused quartz. Now, normal quartz is got back here with gallium arsenide. Now, these are things that I do not believe come from normal rock. The reason I don't believe they come from normal rock is if we come over here and look, germanium, that does come from normal rock. We've got 39,000. Uh, tin, we have 48, uh, sorry, 4,800. It's still big numbers. The uh, gallium, we only have 54. Uh, the same with the arsenide, we only have exactly 54, which leads me to believe that I actually received these as... Oh, that is not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, well, well, we'll sort that out at some point. Which leads me to believe that we actually got these as a reward from somewhere. So what I'm going to do is take, I don't know, 26 it looks like I'm going to take, uh, and put them together in the combiner here. Uh, something else just quickly. So I find myself in the wa making to, wanting to make a lot of ingots, and that's always 16... Uh, 16 things, but it's 16 uh, gold, 16 uh, iron, 16 tin, 16 whatever it is we need. I really wish there was a generic wild card where it could be just like 16 of whatever was put in here and it will go through from uh, as normal top left to bottom right. That would be so useful, like a actually really so useful. Uh, I've probably put these the wrong way around, but it's okay. It is shapeless. Wonderful. Now we need a whole load of silicon dioxide, which I should have down here. There we go. I'm not sure if a, a whole stack is what we want or just a little bit more. Uh, if we clear these out, it should just be four of those, one of these. Brilliant. Quartz. Boom. 16 of them. I'm going to put them in this furnace here and we're going to cook down a whole load of stuff stuff a whole load of fused quartz and we'll be back when uh, when all this is done all right that's the uh, the quartz done if we come over here and have a look hello oh we actually got four bits so we need a minimum of four to put in to get four bits out okay that's that's fine that's not anywhere near as bad as i thought it was going to be i thought it was four just for the one that is not the pattern i wanted i wanted to do this one brilliant there is a lot of noise on the go out there let's try and get some sleep 
Uh, I probably shouldn't actually be doing this because I do need access to a zombie. Uh, let's see if we can do that afterwards. Okay, well, if we hold shift, right click on a map mob to capture its soul. Do you hear him? Do you hear him? Let's go and find one. There he is. Hey, dude. How's it going? Come here. Ba bum Oh. Well, that was... That was a plague zombie. I don't know if that's going to count. If, let's go find out. Let's go find out. What we need to do is get the Z Logic controller out of this thing here because it should have done uh, cooking it. Um, where's my spawner? Progress 53%. We're out of power. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have to wait even longer than I thought. Pow! We've got a broken spawner and an empty soul vial. Lovely. The em the uh, broken spawner is now Enderman. Nice. Was that, that was indeed what we wanted. So we're going to put the uh, Z-Logic controller in and put this in. Will it take it? It's not going to take it. So we need to go find a real zombie. And that means we're going to have to wait for night time. Which is a little unfortunate because I've literally just slept. Uh... So, yes, let let the uh, the waiting... Ooh, do you see him up there? Do you see him on my on my mini-map? Let's go see if we can't get him. He looks like he might be underground somewhere. He could be someone with um, some daylight issues or, like, the lack of daylight issues, which means he's not the man we are after. Okay, we're going to have to dig. We are full-on going to have to dig. He might be down here. Um, I can hear him. I can hear him. I didn't know that there was an area here. Hey, dude, how are you doing? We're going to have to dig this back up. I don't really want to drop straight down on top of him. But that might be one of the plans we're going to have to follow through on. Uh, hello? You're around here somewhere. Let's zoom right in so we can make sure we are pixel perfect on going to find him. Because we don't want to dig down underneath. He Ooh, this is difficult, actually. Like, there. This, this is the... the the little room here. Oh, this is my place. What? Oh, hey there, dude. You seem to have spawned in my area. Was he a normal zombie? He was a normal zombie. Pa! All right, well, let's get back. Ah, oh, look, look at this hole I put in my place here. That one, and that's a plague zombie. Normal zombie. They want 10 more experience. Ouch! You can see I've put up my experience a little bit, just like fighting stuff overnight, but ow! This whole thing seems to be super about getting experience. Uh, I might even have to go... Oh, yeah, it's burning good. I might even have to go make myself a uh, an XP grinder somewhere. I'm not even sure where we can make that, because obviously to get this firing Ooh, I, I don't know i don't know maybe we can do it with the enderman make the uh, the 24 block drop or whatever it is that kills everything but only gets uh, enderman down to one heart isn't it actually like 41 blocks or something like that i can't remember but all i know is we're at y uh, 74 so we're gonna have plenty of room Okay, thankfully this Franken zombie doesn't take anywhere near as long to make. Uh, so what's the next bit that we're on? I'm not even looking at the same page anymore, are we? Tangents, they take you everywhere, they really do. So the powered spawner, we want one of those, two of these uh, vibrant crystals. Now I might actually, oh, if I can not munge my hand into my keyboard, I might actually have a few of those kicking around. I don't know where exactly, there, there exactly. I only want two. Uh, what else is on the cards? Electrical steel chassis and a head of some description. Okay, powered spawner. Awesome. Uh, it's uh, currently empty and we combine with a broken spawner, this one here, in an anvil. All right, let's go see how many XP we need for this. So, powered spawner. Ah, 30 XP. Well, I'm going to have to go, like, fighting overnight or something like that. I need to find myself 20 more levels. Well, it took the vast majority of three nights, but... Ooh, get off of here. What is that? Hey, about let's deal with him quick. Oh, that, that's unfortunate. Okay, as I was saying, it took the vast majority of three nights... 
But we're finally at the point of getting uh, 30 levels together. What, what has happened here? I'm just going to walk away from it all for now and then come and down here and deal with stuff. Now, we were collecting all those levels so that we could go. Boom, boom. Powered spawner, Enderman. Oh, yeah. Now, I've been thinking about what I'm going to do with these Endermen. And I feel this bit of blank wall here might be ideal for putting a hole in. So that wasn't as quick or as easy as I thought it would be. Indeed, it took a lot longer. We had to change plans as well. This hole was going to be a lot, lot deeper. As you can see, I've had to put the power spawner up there. I also thought I'd get on with it and just finish the project as the episode appears to have uh, run a little bit longer than I intended. Let's go up and have a look at what we've done here. Uh, put, a, put a hole out here because, well... As I say, I was actually going to have the spawner there down at this level here. So maybe even visible from that hole. Uh, but whilst I was digging down, silverfish happened. And yeah, little death occurred there. A little bit unfortunate. So I decided just to level it off and go with it here. Uh, if we just get our way to the top of the ladder... I've fallen off here more times than I care to say. Uh, we've got an uh, enderman spawner just kind of set up here. So far... Uh, they, like all the endermen that do fall directly down fall straight in there. Unfortunately, this farm is a little bit more lossy than I would like. Uh, occasionally when the uh, endermen spawn, and when I say occasionally, maybe about half the endermen that spawn, teleport before they hit the bottom of the floor. And I find that uh, most uh, disgruntling, to be honest. Uh, the power going in here is minuscule, but I thought I'd just get it running just so we could see what's going on. If I just hop on down here... Found out that my uh, dark steel boots will uh, take all the full damage if I uh, have it powered up, which is amazing. Uh, down here, I've got these things called Killer Joes. They take swords inside them, and this end, uh, this um, monster nutrient. That's that's the stuff that is made in this uh, little vat we have back here. You. Uh, decompose rotten flesh and sugar into make the uh, nutrient distillation on the side here. Uh, some pipes just to make sure that's all running into the tanks. And it collects XP for me, which is nice, you know. It, it doesn't really take too much, uh, but that's all good. And the uh, vacuum chest here in the middle sucks up everything that gets dropped. Uh, and as you can see, we've already got more ender pearls than I was actually trying to get to begin with. So that's nice and good. And of course, the ender sword there increases the rate of drops for the pearls and the head uh my uh, mode of access at the moment is not not the best we have to put a door in somewhere i think it may be a little secret door there or something like that not entirely sure okay because of all these ender pearls i uh, pre-cooked some vibrant alloy up so we should be able to finally get on to the dimensional transceiver so the thing we were working on right now was the octactic uh, capacitor. We've got the vibrant alloy and I also have the double layer uh, capacitor and the glowstone. All oh, right, that, that was that was a lot of work for that. The next thing we need to do is get this on the go. We need an enderman solvile, which I ha just happen to have in a chest and one of these vibrant crystals here. Ah, oh, man, I need some more XP. Uh, we're probably going to get quite choppy here because the uh, episode is already running long, as I say. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, that's this ender crystal done. Clearly, click, click, click. Dimensional transceiver. Oh, yeah. Okay, this... Uh, we've got to send and receive. This is a very, very complicated GUI, which I'm going to probably figure out next time. But first, let us do some of the things we need to do to tidy up today's episode. One of the first things, of course, is whilst I was out fighting stuff, we managed to kill enough spiders to earn ourselves. I'm actually going to get one of those clips because that, that's, that's the thing we need. Uh, what else are we on the go with here? Of course, the quest to do that actual mission that we were tangenting our way through there. We're going to get a Staff of Travelling and I think I'm going to go with the Ender Crystal. That seems like a good idea. Staff of Travelling. I can see that over there. Let's go. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, cool. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time where we're going to do uh, power issues. I want to get a whole load of more farms and stuff on the go and that we're just not going to be able to make them productive without more power. Anyway, I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Run!